Hello. Hi. How are you guys today? We are happy to be live with you yes. on Tuesday. And I'm Patty. No, I'm, I'm Patty. <laughs> <laughs> That's Patty. I am Carrie. Welcome to Studio R12 Stencils. We are live every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern yep. answering your stencil painting, crafting, DIY questions. All the questions, yep. all the things. So let's check and make sure. Oop, I have a button that says we're live. Yay. Sure, sure yeah. we have. We have audio. We're good to go. Woo so we're gonna wait for just a couple minutes so that people can mm -hmm. jump on. But I do have some housekeeping to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about singing skills earlier. I, um, I cannot carry a tune in a bucket. Is what my response was. But. Um, so I was gone last week. So tell me what you guys did last mm, week. Okay, so last week we had so much fun. We actually talked about spattering. We have the new um, spatter, new size of spattering brush. This is available currently. Um, make sure with your brushes and stuff that you get them mm -hmm. when we have them because supply chain is not actually a joke at all. No. It is for reals. And so I showed how to do all this. This is on Facebook. Okay. In video. Yes. Yeah. And then we did backgrounds. We did so much with backgrounds. Um, so just to kind of elevate your projects and you would have had a good time. Uh, Morgan did a really good job. Um, and so she's going to, we're going to throw her in and have her sneak in a mm -hmm. couple more times and stuff. So I think when Carrie's showing off, she can be our tech girl and stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me share a couple things. So we are going to do some giveaways today. I know Ooh. that you guys like giveaways, but first, before we announce the giveaways, let's talk about what has mm -hmm. been on our YouTube channel recently. Be sure to mm -hmm. go to YouTube, subscribe. These videos will be there. We are working on getting them all uploaded so that you can watch whenever you would like. But last week, we released two videos. Yes. By yours truly. And our theme right now is DIY Christmas, and we're going to continue that theme today. Yeah. But one of them was DIY Christmas cards. I love these so much. So Carrie shows you how to actually do glitter through the stencil. Mm -hmm. And these are our new frames that we have. So this is a joy word from another stencil, and you put frames around it. You can do that with big projects, little projects. Yep. And then here she did gold leaf. So that is just the neatest way to make memorable cards. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. I love, love, love. And I'm going to share the link for the frame stencils, and then I'm going to let Patty talk about this. Okay, so this is called our ugly sweater <laughs> um, stencil. And when Carrie left and she was out of town, um, I wanted to show this last week. I am so in love with this little bag. It just is perfect. And um, Carrie was being a little possessive about this <laughs> Guys, I don't. A little I, bit. I don't want to get lost. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love yeah. it. So uh, Morgan had said that she um, took it home, and so we quit, <laughs> looking, we, took it, we quit looking for it. And I was walking in front of Carrie's desk, and there in the little credenza behind her desk sat the little bag, and I grabbed it out of there and snagged it so we could show you guys, because it is magical. I love this. It is amazing so yes cute okay super cute bag. Yes. yes and then um this week coming up we are going back to patty's kitchen so we released a video a few weeks ago that was in her kitchen with the cleaning of the stencils mm -hmm. this week we are cleaning brushes yeah we needed running water to do both of those things so <laughs> the most logical thing to do was to go to the kitchen and do that it's harder to do those remote things because of lighting and sound and mm -hmm. all of that but that was a good way to get into a real kitchen so that you guys can see real time. And we're talking about some artist brushes. So yeah. those have been with us for a while who maybe have been with us through different companies and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Some of your so brushes yeah, I'm going to show um, in that video, we're going to show how to clean all of the brushes that we basically carry on our okay. website. So the flat brushes, the, the round brushes, all of the brushes. And um, so if you don't own those, going to show you about domes and foams mm -hmm. and things like that as well so yep. just in real time in a real kitchen um yeah 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 i think that you'll find it very valuable and that will be um saturday morning at 6 30 in the morning i think is when the 6 30 mm -hmm. eastern's when we have those yep. go live so be sure to go to our youtube channel be sure to subscribe and then there's a little bell after you hit subscribe a little bell pops yep. up and you can ring the bell and then you will be notified whenever yeah. we add new things. And it just sends you a um, like a text, like yeah, YouTube or like a little a, pop up. Yeah, it'll say yeah. this is going live now, and that mm -hmm. just reminds you in this big world of the internet and stuff like that. I find it difficult to remember that I know to go places, yeah. and so you know I find a really cool like 
place that has great like sheets, yep. bedding, whatever. And then I'll forget the name of it and I'll forget this and forget that. So when you have a notification that reminds you somebody that you really want to know about is there, mm -hmm. it's helpful. Yep. So, and All you right. can always turn it off later if you don't like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But you're going to want to leave it yeah, on. Of course. Because you never know. We, we have surprises yeah. on our YouTube channel. We upload sometimes random stuff that we didn't tell you about. So we do have some giveaways that Who's I know you guys are lucky. looking forward to. Um, so we're going to do a couple different things. So today I'm going to go ahead and announce a giveaway winner. Today we are giving away four truck stencils during our live. So That's these will awesome. be given to just random people throughout Num the live. Number one for three years running mm -hmm. right now. That is the number one. And this can be dressed up in teal, it's fabulous in teal yep. and yellow and red and and um, red, white and blue and all of that. And you can re reuse our stencils over and over. Last week's video on YouTube was mm -hmm. how to clean your stencils. So once you do it, once you use this stencil about five times, you're gonna start losing the little details. Yeah. Then you wanna clean it. And yeah. I show you how to do that. So yes. you can and, do that. And grab your hearts, grab your mm, lemons, yeah. grab your flowers. I was grabbing my wine. Grab your oh. wine, huh. grab your stars. You can mm. make this for anything. When you have your patterns in these little books with the little um, um, bind. Yes. Uh, disc journals. Disc journals. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. The disc journals. I had the word binder in my head. And so you can just grab the star pattern from one of these little guys and then you can have them kind of flowing yeah. out. You've got little hearts. If you've got some pattern stencils with different details, snowflakes, mm -hmm. you can make this stencil work for you all the time. Yeah. So um, super important to um, think about stencils as a reusable resource. Yes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give one of these away because we do have a question already. So I'm going to go ahead and give this away ooh, to ooh. Peggy. Peggy was the first one to ask a question. So Peggy, I would like to you get your address and you'll get a truck. So Peggy has a problem. Ooh. Peggy painted a board red. Okay. She went back to stencil and white and it ended up pink. pink. <laughs> yeah. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, so Peggy, this is what you do with that. In that case, is you go ahead and you go into your paint supplies, and you find yourself a nice medium color gray, um, and this is, gray is going to mask um, the white or the red so that you don't end up with a pink color. It's also really good for yellows. Um, you can use them maybe a lighter gray with yellow, um, but a, just a gray color to mask whatever is happening underneath. And you can go right back on top of it and take care of that problem. Yep. Um, just line your stencil up really carefully and you're good. Yes. So not all is lost. Thank you, Peggy. So real quick, so we're doing these throughout it. We know that people can't be live um, with us every day. We're sad about that. However, mm -hmm. we do want to make sure that people who can't watch with us live at noon can still have an opportunity to win some giveaways. So we do have two grand prize winners that we will announce tomorrow, which is Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Ooh, yeah. So you have 24 hours to get in there. And we have two that we're going to do. You're going to like, share, and comment so that you can enter to win. One winner will get a three set of dome brushes and then seven, seven stencils, Christmas stencils. We have snowflakes. Do we the, have this one. Yeah. This one. So this one, I'm going to jump out of my chair for this, literally. So this is our um, candy cane stencil, which we, don't fall me high. <laughs> this is one of the ones you absolutely need because it doesn't matter how wide that is. You lay this J stencil over and then you lay this on top mm -hmm. of it and it'll make your stripes for you. Yes. So it makes striping so fast and easy and then they're available in different sizes. So it's a really useful, useful stencil. Yes. So that is going to be for one winner and we will announce that tomorrow. So be sure to like, share and comment. Let us know you're doing that. And then someone else will win a three pack of brushes and then two stencils. We have, oh, a Merry Christmas truck. Mm -hmm. which, and then, yeah, and you could just mask that tree out to make that be universal mm -hmm. and all season. Yes. And don't do the Christmas one. Yeah. You know, so that's what's neat about stencils is you can use just the Merry Christmas off of this stencil, or you can use, you know, the bits and bobs mm -hmm. and things. So you don't have to use the whole thing. Yes. And then also one of my favorites, the this Rudolph. Such a good Co. Yeah. So someone will get these two stencils and a small dome brush set. Ooh. So. Um, be sure to like, share, and comment. Let us know that you're doing so, and yeah. then we'll announce those tomorrow. Okay. And I think 
I'm done with my housekeeping. Your turn. Housekeeping is done. Okay. So today we are really going to talk about um, doing a um, a homemade Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got our homemade gift wrapping. We've got our homemade cards. Now let's talk about some presents and some gifts that you're going to do. And then we're going to be doing some fabric painting. So you're going to want to stick around for that. And then I don't know what's in your tumbler today, but today... I'm white. Ooh. I know. Like so I am like Patty. I am a red wine and I wanted to share a sign. So on a homemade Christmas kind of standpoint, this is a, a very popular Christmas stencil that we have. And we've actually combined a couple of stencils together. But in this case, I'm kind of backwards. I'm um, if the if the red is gone, I'll drink the white. But it's just a cute fun <laughs> saying. Um, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas unless the white's all gone. But I'm dreaming of a red, <laughs> unless the red's all gone. Okay, so let's talk about some other gifts that you can do. So everything with stencils and signs and all of that mm -hmm. can be used um, as a gift. Um, doing a lovely sign for over a doorway. Um, you know, we have one that hangs over our patio doors going out into our side yard. Um, and so you can do just a bunch of stuff. But today we really want to talk about fabric because it's just a weird thing to paint on and people have a lot of questions about it. So we thought that we would show you that. This is Ikea pillow covers. What I love about this, look for my zipper, is I can buy one pillow for my sofa or my chair or whatever. And then these are the down ones and they are wonderful for um, just really supporting your back and stuff. I yeah. use them every day. And then if you bought your sofa, or whatever and it came with like you know five pillows that are all the same color it's really nice to mix things up um, and so this is you know just done with snowflakes you could put some words on the other side and have like a naughty or nice and you could do some of that these have been so popular in recent years okay and then these I just want to show you this is like Ikea I love Ikea because I think these are literally like $6.99 or $7.99 but they just come in this nice square shape they're all the same all of their pillows work with all of the sizes and they have a ton of colors these were the popular colors this year um, at ikea this is everything in their store is in these colors the burgundy and the hunter green hunter green is back y'all yes i my office wall <laughs> is literally hunter green um i think i'm dressed in all green yeah. <laughs> today i have green boots on today with my green um, shirt She's my green, green earrings. All green today, yeah, guys. All green. Okay, so that's a way that you can do home decor. So you can give a little present to yourself. And then, and you guys, please ask questions. Um, I want to see lots of questions this week. I have some. I Ooh, have some. Let's hear. Okay, so Debbie wants to know what is a good liner brush. Oh, mighty fine liner. Um, if you need thicker lines, then I would use the round that we carry on mm -hmm. our website. And I can't think of the name of it right it's now. It's just called the round brush. Okay, just a round brush. And I but it yeah. snaps to a point and it is beautiful. If you don't push too hard, it makes beautiful lines. If you want something really fine, um, do you want to see the murder of a brush? Anybody? Here's a couple of liners over here. Um, yeah. And guys, I'm like 50 comments behind right now. So if I don't get to your comment <laughs> right now, I we go back and answer them. Yeah. So we will go back and answer we'll them. We'll make sure we get, get you, live get you We'll send you all the links. And if you want a specific link, put it in there and we'll make sure we get it to you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is the round brush and it's this is one of the thicker ones. There's a smaller size than that. And then I wanna show you the murder of a brush. I discovered this earlier. Bring Persephone over here. This, when you are putting your brushes away, this is such a good tip for you guys. When you're putting your brushes away and you're smashing them into these um, containers like this, keep your bigger brushes out of there because I, this is the, the Mighty Fine Liner that I love, and this thing got smashed, okay, by big bristle china duster stippler. It was sitting in there like that, and now it's smashed. Sometimes you can take water that you boiled, but let cool for just a second, and swirl your brush in, and sometimes they'll snap back. Don't do it with boiling water. I did that once, and it went, phew. Um, I can make that sound again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, but yeah, so watch your tender brushes. I would keep all I would keep all of this chunky, junky stuff, and they're not junky, but you know what I mean. These big things, I would keep them in a different container, and keep my fine brushes in another container. So this is convenient for us filming, but it is not ideal for the health of your brushes. Okay, I'm just gonna put him over there. All right, let me get her out of here. Okay. Stay 
Steve, is that okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Where do you want him? In front of the fan. Okay. Yeah. All right. So back to our. Who's the hardest person to shop for? Grandpa. Men. Men. <laughs> <laughs> Men. And number one, they don't nest as much, I think, as mm -hmm. we women. So we're a little bit easier, I think, sometimes. Um, and then if they're passionate about like garage things, they buy themselves what they need and we're not qualified to buy those things. So, um, but this is a really cool project. This was a video that we did. And this is an Ikea pillow form. And it's grandpa's, grand, is it grandpa's? I think so. Grandpa's. And then we actually personalize these stencils. So you can say granddad, papa, mm -hmm. um, you know, all the different granddad words. And we can get that stencil to you in time for you to make the Christmas present. And then um, on the back of this, we did diamond plate. We did a whole series of like painted stools and all of that that are diamond plate. And they're glorious. They would make fabulous gifts for the garage, dad, granddad, all those kinds of things. So that is another neat one. Now you get into your girlfriends, right? You wanna make a special gift. You got that granddaughter who's like 15, 16 years old and you don't know what to get her because once again, you know, we're not living that life. Um, so, but everybody can use a tote. Yes. It's a library tote, it's a beach tote, it's an, got your monogram on it so you can personalize that. that. I think we are one of the most unusual stencil companies because we actually do personalization. So um, you can get, a lot, we have a personalized category, yes. and then you can get things that say, you know, this uh, Mrs. Rollinson, that's me, <laughs> um, Mrs. Rollinson's Gingerbread Baking Company, you know? So like, how cool would that be to put that on, um, what are those, um, the big stove cover things? Um, again, noodle boards. Yes. Yeah, so you could get the bigger size of that, put it on a noodle board and make that a present for mom that she will not forget. And then she will use it every day of her life and all of that, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean. But it's just so important. Now, Carrie, do you make um, gifts at your house? Do you guys hand make things? You were making bracelets the other day. Yes, um, my bonus daughter is nine and we make. she makes a lot bonus of Bonus daughter, I love daughter. that. Yep. I have two bonus sons, yep, my bonus I'm, I'm gonna steal that one. <laughs> I've never heard that. Um, and so we. she likes to make a lot of gifts. She is very excited about doing gift wrap this year. So I kind of opened a can of worms with that one. Yeah. But yeah. yes, we, we try to do some, especially since I started working here because everyone's like, oh, you know what? I really love that stencil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and that's, you know, and what I love is the stencils are reusable. And in the case of like the Rawlinson um, Baking Company, you can sit there and you, I've got, I have five sons and I could make a Rawlinson, Mrs. Rawlinson's for every mm -hmm. one of my daughter-in-laws. Yeah and she would be thrilled to have it because it's the last name and all of that yeah. stuff. In my house, we have been doing the um, polar fleece blankets for the cold people yes. in our families. And we took up camping this year. We bought a trailer, a little trailer, but we took up some camping and we've been meeting um, different parts of our family places. So those people are getting polar fleece blankets and I'm really hoping they're not listening right now. Whoops. <laughs> and let me tell you what, um, Patty also does signs for people as gifts. Yeah. Um, if I can, I'll have her take a picture of the one she made for her husband. Yeah, um, that's a, recently. that was last, that, last, was Christmas. last Christmas. I think it was last think. Christmas. Yeah. Um, and it had every, everywhere that we'd lived and all the memorable places and all of that just in a row. And it's really, I don't know, like city looking. Yes, you know, it's, it's kind of a cool. Thing. It's like one of those signs that you see from New York City that has all the like mm -hmm. the boroughs yeah. listed on yeah. it, and it was pretty cool. Yeah, I I love it. I'd spy our fireplace, mm -hmm. and it just it's warming. I love it. Um, I bought a freeze dryer, um, and I've been freeze drying food as well. And one of them makes really cool gifts, <laughs> and I've just got to share this because it's so cool. Um, when you put sugar in a freeze dryer, it makes things blow up. <laughs> And so these are Skittles. And so we put these in little jars and, Carrie? I'll eat one. Thank yeah. you. Oh, okay. four. And these are Steve's so, favorite. I don't know if you can hear it. Yes. It turns the <laughs> sugar scrunchy. Steve, don't yell at us. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Steve's back there and he can't have them right now, but um, we'll share with him later. Mm. Super cool, but I think having homemade gifts is super memorable. Um, every time, you know, your, your granddaughter or your friend takes this bag out, they're going to remember your friendship, what you mean to them and all of that. 
I have a daughter-in-law who is mad about lemons, and um, this would be just a fabulous present for her, you know, because you can't buy these things all. You can buy some things at the craft stores and stuff like that, but they have limits. They only have so much retail space, and then finding exactly the right thing on a stencil company site, you can find like many, many versions of things. So, all right, do we yeah. have some questions? Oh my gosh, we have so many questions. Okay, so we got, um, so I, we have a couple comments from Sherry. Sherry said that she's using a lot of our stencils to make gifts this year. Yay, Sherry, that's um, awesome. And she's also going to wrap all of her gifts in white paper mm -hmm. and then stencil on the white paper. That's so we cannot wait to see those. Um, Lisa has the opposite problem of Peggy. Not Lisa Rollinson, right? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Whoops. Um, Lisa says I'm having a problem with black rubbing into all the other paint colors. That is so interesting. I am pondering that for a hot second. Okay. Um, so is black under or the on color? Okay, yep, yeah. Lisa, let us know about that. And what we might do is if we can't get get it in this mm -hmm. time, we'll we'll start a chat thread with you and we'll, we'll yeah, work our way yeah, through yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it, sometimes that's coming off of your stencil. If your stencil, um, we show that in the stencil cleaning video where you've got a color already on your stencil and um, and the um, it when you re-wet it, it smears it and it blends. Red's really notorious for that. Um, red will yes. bleed and take on every color that you put on top of it. It just it reactivates easily. Okay, um, a lot of questions, so we'll go ahead and get okay. this one out of the way. Um, da -da -da -da. Doesn't Carrie do a good job? Give her some hearts and some thumbs up and stuff. Um, can you wash the pillowcase after you paint them? Yes, and so that kind of takes us into um, um, uh, one of our employees here, Elaine, um, painted on her jeans. She had a boot cut pair of jeans and she put a mandala stencil on the bottom of the jeans. It turned out so cute. She had light blue <laughs> jeans with white mandala. It was very subtle. It looked really sassy. And um, she has had that on those jeans. They're her popular favorite pair. And so she uses them a lot, wears them a lot. And they lasted her about a year and a half. So if you don't, she didn't iron hers, and that is something that you can do to make um, the, the paint stick to the fabric. You can wash the pillow covers. Um, you would, I would probably treat them more gently. Now, what I always have said to people when I'm teaching classes is you can't get, if you get paint on your clothing, you can't get it out, so that, that's how durable it is. It's difficult to get out, but if you iron after you do it, then it makes it more durable. Okay. okay. Um, and so is it going to fade after you wash it? Um, so it can fade. It depends on, you know, what you're washing it with and what you're, um, you know, how many times you're washing it and doing that kind of thing. Um, I think that mostly like I have pillow covers and I don't wash them very frequently. So I think if you're most of the things that we're talking about here, like the, the bag for the beach, um, you know, that I guess I would probably not dry that more than anything just because of the handles. You know, that rope handle is going to get frayed and stuff like that, but I would definitely I'd toss it into the gentle cycle okay. and do that. All right. <clears throat> um, let's see. So most of them were, let's see. Um, Thanks for asking questions. Becky says, I got overzealous scrubbing with one of my dome brushes and it's separated from the wood handle. How can she reattach it? Um, that is a really good question. Ed, that has the... the Brushes that we used to carry, um, two versions ago that were these, um, sometimes, and this one actually feels like it, no, nope, it's, it's tight. Um, these don't fall apart very much. It did, now the handle came away from the silver. Okay, so this part's the ferrule. Um, you just take your wood glue and just shove that in there and then give it a twist and lay it down until it dries. Okay. Yeah, easy to fix. Um, Laureen says, when stenciling on canvas, mm. How do I make a correction with the eraser pen doesn't work? So how can you make corrections on canvas? This is a very good question. We're going to answer this question. Okay, so we are going to paint on this apron. Um, what I like about this, when years ago, um, probably about 15 years ago, when my granddaughters were little, I made them little matching aprons for cooking holiday goodies. And they, um, they looked adorable adorable but this would be a great gift for anybody that likes to bake if grandma mom dad do a grill we've got all kinds of cool grill stuff um, these are available at the hobby stores um, or online 
um, you know, wherever. But um, aprons are very common and they're really affordable and then they look really good and they're super personal and then it makes just such a thoughtful gift. All right, so I wanna walk you through how to paint and then I'm gonna answer that question, how to correct. Yep. Um, it is, that's the one thing I think with paper yes. and with fabric is your um, correctability process is lower. So it can, it's something that you wanna be like a little bit more cautious, think ahead and stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this, I have washed my apron and I have dried the apron. Um, and it, if you throw an apron in your dryer in the morning when you need it for your live, um, <laughs> and then you have to iron it. Um, it took like an hour and a half for this thing to dry because it was in there by itself. I should have thrown a towel in there with it. And if I was gonna do this denim, uh, this is super, super thick fabric. I would probably prep this ahead and you wanna dry it without um, dryer sheets or um, softener because that will prevent your um, paint from sticking up. So, but I would have probably taken this and put it in with my jeans loads and washed it like five times just to get it nice and worn in and stuff like that so that it starts its life the way I want it to feel. All right, so I'm gonna get this flat. We took the black mat off of this table. That's the, um, the wipe off um, silicone mat. Mm -hmm. This is what happens to your surface when you don't protect it with the mat. <laughs> so just FYI. And the mat is gonna be, I'm getting ready to share right now, an, our Amazon links. So mm -hmm. we have a- Affiliate links, yeah. yeah we have mm -hmm. a blog post that has all of the links. We update it every week mm -hmm. and that's an easy way for you to find. But if there's something in particular you want, just let us know. Yeah, anything that you need to know, just ask the question and mm -hmm. we will get to you. Yes. All right, and so I'm gonna take our stretchy tape and I'm gonna secure this to the table. One thing about, um, I, the reason I had to take the mat away is because the mat is non-stick. And so it, the paint washes off of it, but tape doesn't stick to it. So um, it wasn't helping me at all. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna flatten that down. A lot of you are asking about the type of paint. Patty is going I'm to about to show I you. Promise. I promise. Yeah, and actually I have a really neat little secret about the kind of tape. Let's see if that's secure. Okay, I think that is. I just want that to flatten down. So, the type, this is our stretchy tape. This is the one that you can tape a circle on, and this is magic tape. Um, these are all the different sizes of the stretchy tape. Okay. And we have four different sizes of those. Yeah. And um, one of the supply chain problems. Um, the, the gentleman who delivers our tape, they're actually a company that's in our town, which is the weirdest thing, because um, nothing's in our town <laughs> like we have like you know what five restaurants mm -hmm. you know a lot of fast food but not restaurants um so it is like weird to have something be in our town but um he came in and he was like not gonna be having too much more of this so if you think you want a roll of the really one that will really do the job uh, make sure you get it ordered before you can't okay i'm gonna talk about the stickiness of things um, so that we, when you paint on fabric, especially these ones that are plush, it's easy for that stencil to walk around. Mm -hmm. So I find it best to make it sticky. Okay, so that's going to stick onto the fabric. I'm also going to tape it. The one thing you don't wanna have happen is you don't want your stencil to walk around because then you're gonna ruin your project. Okay, so and I'm gonna talk about how you fix a, a an error in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this on here and then I'm gonna show you how I made the stencil sticky. If you look on Facebook, and it'll be on YouTube later. Soon. Yeah, um, there is a video that we did two or three weeks ago that we talked about um, the foil video, that's the one it was. Um, but we talked about how to um, stick things, repositionable stick things. This is the one that I'm calling the winner and it's the Aileen's Stick and Restick. And it's the one that removes the easiest with rubbing alcohol. Yes. Okay, so um, this is my winner and I think it's magic uh, just because you can't easily remove it. Okay, I'm gonna get flat, get on here with my stencil, get it centered. Okay, it's eyeball stenciling, okay. Okay, I'm getting some more info from Lisa. Lisa, what kind of paint are you using? And then once I get that, um, I'll go back and give all your info to um, Patty and we'll, we'll try to help try you out Try to track this. it down, yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to tape up here at the top. Kind of think I might want to tape around the armholes here just to keep it stretched. So you don't think very much about taping on fabric. How many of you have painted fabric before? That's an interesting question. Yes. And what is on your painting table? Oof. Okay, so we got over here. All right, let's talk. Nope, I'm going to want one more. So see how that's just, this apron has got all this um, stuff, um, bias stuff going around the thing. So when I do this, I'm going to need to hold it down even, even with all this stickiness going on. So I'll give it two more pieces of tape. Can never have enough sticking. Okay. And, all right. So we'll do that, and then let me show you how I made that sticky. So I'm going to use this stripe stencil. This is a banding stencil. What I love about this stencil is it has all of the sizes of banding. So you lay it down, and I would mask whatever stripe I was after, and I would stipple it, and then you move it and move it and move it, and it makes the best bands. It You don't have to tape it. Such a great thing. However, it does because it isn't bridged a lot. Bridging is the parts that connect. I like that it's not bridged, so we use this, um, but I don't want them flopping so my lines are crooked, so I want to make it sticky. So we're going to go on to our stick and restick. Okay, we we'll pour out some medium. Then we're going to grab one of these daubers. These are magic for this. I'm going to lay it on something that I don't mind if it gets messy. Pick up with my dry dauber and then I'm going I'm going to hold it down I probably you know a piece of tape wouldn't be bad here it's just gonna walk around and smear things okay I apologize I'm gonna eat a skittle crunch 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 those skittles are magic guys they make the best gifts I'll tell you so notice I'm just doing light <laughs> holding it down just get it on the back of it and that is going to dry and make a repositionable sticky thing. Okay. We have a couple people who've said all they want for Christmas is stencil brushes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is, um, you can't have enough of them almost, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna go. Now, one thing that you do want to do with these is you want to make sure you go, as soon as you're done with your, um, your sticky stuff, you want to immediately go wash this in the sink. And I cannot run and go wash that because I'm doing this. So I'm going to bury it under a foam brush in here. <laughs> I'm lying. Rusty, can you get a shot of that little guy floating in there? They always float heads up. Every oh, yeah. single time. Yes, it doesn't fail. Yeah, so I'm gonna try burying it somehow. <laughs> Stay. It's not gonna. Okay, we're gonna let them float. Sacrificial foamy thing. Okay, then we're gonna take this off of here and just let it dry over to the side. Cat asked, is the Aileen stick and restick the same same as Aileen's tack it over and over? Um yeah. I'm not trying sure. to remember about tack it over and over um is the tack it over and over a spray i'll look and see if i can yeah find it i think i can't remember if it was only a spray or if it was available in a bottle too i don't know the answer to that but okay. aileen's had when we did the they had this that spray that was the one that did the work yeah. So what I found at the craft store was I found the foiling glue, which worked pretty well. I wouldn't be surprised if they're the same product. Um, I think I do know that manufacturers do um, re, um, repurpose and rebrand to make it known that um, the cork sealer was one that DecoArt did. Mm -hmm. They called it cork sealer because they were selling it to people that were painting duck decoys and their cork. So it would seal the duck so mm -hmm. the duck could float in water. Well, then they rebranded re it as another piece in their line so that people who didn't think they needed it for pork right. would know what it was. Um, I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to do a giveaway real Yay! quick. And we just had a question from Glennis. 
So Glennis's question is, how long does it take for the sticky glue stuff to dry? So while Patty is working on that, you also will get a Yay, chuck sizzle, that's so awesome. I will message you. Yeah, um, it dries, it depends on your temperature. If you're in Arizona, it's gonna be different than Ohio. Um, you know, so it's 20, 30 minutes, then it's dry. Um, seems like it takes about 20 minutes-ish for me. Um, that's just my experience. Okay, let's talk about paint. Okay, we've got our stencil and that thing is just really, that is such a tight little area up there. Um, I'm glad I chose something that is difficult so that you guys can be on this journey with me. <laughs> Yay, me. <laughs> okay, so paint. Um, the neat thing, we are going to be using um, the DecoArt So Soft paint today. Okay, so they come in these little bottles. Now, I don't know about you, but if I didn't want to buy a whole nother line of paint, um, I would want to repurpose what I have. So they thankfully make a fabric painting medium, okay? And so this is something that you mix one third to two thirds of your paint color. So one third of the medium, excuse me, two thirds of your paint. And then you just mix it together with your palette knife. And then that makes your regular acrylic craft paints into fabric paints. So isn't that cool? And I think all paints are fabric paints, but it, this also does a good job of making the paints soft. So um, this is a good product to have, and we're gonna put that affiliate link. I don't think we have Shared. this one. Shared. Ding, ding, ding. Even with the recipe, Ooh. the one third to two thirds. Ooh, recipe included. Recipe okay. included. So, that is crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> you cannot resist those Skittles. I know we're not selling Skittles, but mm, we're sitting here looking like it needed to hop into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm just going to use this time to give away another stencil. Um, I won't do that again. <laughs> let's give this stencil to Sharon McMillan is going to get Yay, a Sharon. stencil. And I already answered her question, but I will go ahead and message her to get her address. All right. So, in the SoSop line, they also make a transparent medium. And they make a, a bunch of different color glitters that go with them. So we're going to use some of these things to make this cute little kitty cat. Um, I had not painted with So Soft paints for a couple of years. And so we went through, <laughs> yesterday was shake the bottles of mm -hmm. paint day here. Wow. At, you guys would have cried if you saw how many were dried. That they dried up. Oh my yeah. gosh. It was devastating. Like a lot of these craft paints will last for years and years. I don't know. It seemed like the blues and the greens just didn't yes. make it. That was just the ones that I just ended up chucking some. So um, we're going to start with white <clears throat> and we're just going to. So let's talk about what if you make a mistake? Ooh, just like that. Did you see that spit all the way over to here? Number one, let's start with the mistakes right from the beginning. You pick up some water in your clean stencil brush and you just go over there while it's fresh and you just erase it so it kind of got it everywhere i just went <laughs> so when i say be careful with your projects um when you're on fabric you don't want to wreck this just because your bottle decided to like make a noise so you know i would probably go ahead now that i'm wiser from a minute ago i would probably go ahead and spit them out with my hand in front of it with a paper towel just so or be a little bit more cautious when i do that so Watch that, that's a good thing to know. And then we're gonna take our white paint and we're gonna go over here onto our kitty and I'm gonna, same technique as we use for painting anything with our stencils. I'm gonna use our dome brush. We've got dry dome, dry paint, dry paper towel. And we're just gonna go over here and wipe it off. Okay, lower the glasses. So okay. while she's doing that, real quick, I just got on to Amazon and found the tacket over and over. So it says repositionable adhesive, temporary hold for appliques, trims, ribbons, and more. So that's interesting. Yeah, um, well, I want to say I used it um, before. This one says. No, that's why I, I was looking at on the front of that one. It says repositionable adhesive. Um, but this one will. doesn't say like what it's like it, that it would do mm -hmm. like applique appliques yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll um, we'll order it. We'll put it on our next time. Yeah, so the um, the neat thing about using something repositionable like the tacket over mm -hmm. and over, um, like uh, distant memory tells me that I used to use it all the time. I feel like I'm not sure, but 
Um, I couldn't get the sticky to go away, but then I didn't try really hard either. Um, but is you can take, if you're sewing or doing something like that, you can position them and then do your sewing for your appliques and stuff like that. It's a really neat way to be able to stick something down and do what you're gonna do to it. And then it washes away. And while you're doing that, Denise wants to know, does the medium paint work as good as the so soft? Um, I think they do. Okay. Yeah, I think they do. Okay, I'm gonna make the little bunny nose pink, so I'm not gonna get in. I, actually, you know what, I think I will do it white because if I put pink on top of any of these colors, I'm um, thinking that this is gonna be a shortcut like the gray under the red paint we were talking about earlier. It's gonna mask that dark blue, okay? So, and you just wanna be going around and securing every area. If I was painting on this apron, this isn't bunchy. This one is bunchy. So um, if I anything that's bunchy, you wanna hold it down. Debbie wants to know how long will the sticky stay on your stencil? Uh, until you take it off. So it's, and they um, actually, what's funny about the sticky stuff on the back of your stencil is it actually react, like you wash it and it feels like it's not there when it's under the water. Mm -hmm. And then when it dries, it's like it's sticky, again. sticky again, you know? So it's kind of cool that it does that. I think that's a, a bonus feature. Okay, so we're just gonna stencil. And you notice that you're gonna see your, um, your pattern of your material, and that is perfectly fine. It actually adds a little bit to it. Um, Jennifer had asked, and I'll start with this one, um, what works best to get the sticky stuff off? She has one that she's having a hard time getting it clean. We also ran into that mm -hmm. when we were trying out different stickies that there were a couple that we could not get off yeah. with. We tried water, we tried rubbing alcohol, we tried all This guy things. was hard to get off. This is the one that I've been using previously. This is that um, little Coes in a Straight Line. Um, and this, it was difficult to find repositionable things, honestly. And then like the can of the um, Aileen's Tacky Spray over there, I thought for sure that was gonna be reposition. It says it's repositionable, but it just literally dried hard. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it was an interesting, these lives have turned into like a little bit of a research thing. So when you guys are, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When, you, when you guys are asking these questions, it wakens up parts of my brain and says, oh yeah, I remember I used to do that and whatever. And then I can share, you know, 35 years of painting knowledge with you. Okay, so I'm gonna walk that up, flatten the next area, and then just work in little areas. I'm not gonna work in big areas. I'm not gonna be swirling as much today. I'm gonna be stippling so it gets into into that stencil. Okay, so sticky, sticky, stick down. Will you clean your brushes the same? This is from Teresa. Is the brush cleaning technique the same using fabric paint medium as yep. with the acrylic paint? With any uh, medium except for um, oil paint. So oil paints are completely different and you have to use a solvent and, but yeah. And then those of you who are cleaning their foam brushes, I'm just reminding you, don't use soap in those foam brushes because they will be um, they will be foamy forever. Yes. Basically. Okay, now I notice I'm reloading my white and I'm holding my hand in there in front um, to keep it from spitting. Okay, that's the lesson learned from earlier. And Glennis asked, you're only gonna stipple on fabric? Um, today. Today. Yeah, today. Or anytime. If you're paint, if you're doing your fabric, will you only stipple? Or oh yeah yeah yeah. I think you could swirl, but um, it like this fabric would hold up to swirling. But like if I swirled on like this velvety stuff, I think it would do weird things to the velvety stuff. So I don't think I would like that. And it's that. probably also going to depend on your stencil as well. Yeah. So yeah, stipple stipple. Pound, pound, pound. This is why I don't like stippling. Um, and I'm so happy to swirl is because it just, it's slower. I don't, I don't appreciate that part. However, can I tell you just a little moment here. When I used to paint and design projects and stuff like that, if I was gonna do this little kitty cat, I would have to trace the pattern onto my paper. I would have to um, transfer the pattern onto the project. 
then I would have to base everything using big motor control skills and then, you know, do all my other techniques and stuff. This is so much faster than doing all of those other steps. So I love stencils. Okay, get that there. Get everybody a nice little coat. Jennifer says that she had used a quilting ad fabric adhesive spray. She's tried soap, rubbing alcohol, goo gone, etc. Mm. It's still sticky and it has been for years. Oh gosh. Well, in a way, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, you know, um, what we have done is like we're using the disc binder mm -hmm. for our storage or hanging them on these, um, the curtain rod mm -hmm. um, underneath the shelf or in a closet or whatever. I mean, you could really just store it sticky and just know that you're going to have a sticky stencil, mm -hmm. you know, when you pick it up. It, it doesn't hurt anything to have it stay yeah. sticky. Yeah. Okay, and then I'll smash that down. A little bit's puckering up on me. Okay, I'm going to answer one, Pat's question. Pat asked, when you do drop shadow, does it make a difference? Is the shadow to the left or right? The answer is nope. That is just personal preference. Yeah. I typically do it down to the right. I've seen Patty do it both ways, so we. I. It's just personal preference if you like it to the right or to the left. Yeah, you don't want to do it on the left and the right. Yes. You want to choose a side. side it's like other. casting a shadow. Mm -hmm. So um, you can do it up, down, corner, corner, whatever way you want, but only do it on one of the top or the bottom and one of the left or the right. If that makes sense. Okay. Now down here to the sparkle word. One thing too that I notice if I am stenciling through, um, if I'm stippling, thinner lines are harder to base coat. Yes. So um, swirling really does a better job of doing your thinner detail. So if you don't know what swirling is and you're new to this, um, stay tuned, we'll show you. And you can go back and look on our YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe to that because that's gonna show you all the tricks. Yeah. And we have, we've had some questions um, about different things. Uh, we had questions about drop shadow. We've had questions about painting on fabric. So we'll be sharing those links. We'll go back through and answer your comments and share those links. Mm -hmm. So you'll be, have this specific link for what video. All right. Video. So this is a trick that um, you will want to know about whether you're painting with fabric paint or not. I'm starting out in my yellow unicorn horn thing um, with a yellow that has a lot of white in it. And then I'm gonna go on top of that with a bright yellow to make it pop. And that is a way, it's basically that undercoating with a previous color to cut the background. I'm gonna plunk that in there. While she's plunking, don't forget plunk. to like, share, and comment to be entered to win our giveaways. We have two grand prizes that we'll announce tomorrow. Both of them include a set of three brushes and then some fun stencils. All right, so I'm gonna go on here with the yellow. How many of you have been painting on fabric? I'm very curious about that. We have, we did have a couple of people say that they have painted on fabric before, but some people said they have not done it in a while. Okay, now we wanna get out our multi-master. Guys, I've told this story before, but I think it bears repeating if you're new here. Uh, this is a really weird little thing that looks like somebody's nose and it has like, he's the laughing man. This is a multi-masker and it has a bunch of undulating lines that will mask areas of your stencil so you don't have, oops, so you don't have to tape. Um, and it is wonderful. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna get lined up. Oh, and that just fits this perfectly. And there we go, multi-masker. I'm getting that link for you guys right now. And I'm stippling on my finger. Your okay. finger is the new multi-master. Yeah, it's one of the maskers, right? Okay, so you decide how, I'm gonna go ahead and peek just a little bit. I'm probably gonna regret doing this, but I'm going to try to hold it all still. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, so see what we got going on there. Nice and bright. We could keep going with many coats if we wanted to. This is how you're doing your stenciling on fabric. That's so cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, so what other questions do we have okay, going on we here? We have, let's see, we have, um, 
Oh, I didn't get the name for this one. I apologize. I'm painting a Santa countdown on wood with chalk paint so okay. that you can erase it each day. Yep. Do you seal the complete project, then use chalk over top of the seal? Yeah, so we did that. Um, it's not in here right now, but we did that. And it is... Okay. Thank you. Um, no, yeah, it's good. Um, the What you do is you're going to seal your board with matte, whatever you do. And then in the area where you want to chalk on it, you just go ahead and give it a light sand with like a, a 120 grit, just a little light sand, and that's going to rough it up so that your chalk will stick and then you can erase it. So. And then we have a question from Barb, and we might get to this, so if you want to hold off on it, that's fine. What do you use to seal after painting on the fabric items? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You can iron. Um, you can iron it, and then that will make everything very, 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 very hard to remove. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here and do the pink. Now you notice I've got a lot of areas all touching down here. Um, they're really close together, so a couple of multi-masters. Oh, that's the story that I wanted to tell was we have a boutique here in town that we um, do sign painting workshops, like a cork and canvas kind of things. And we spend a lot of time in the last three years, four years, taping the, like the trucks. Mm -hmm. um, if you have this much detail going on there, right. this masker is gonna make it so you don't have to tape everything. Um, and when I introduce the maskers to the girls that teach the workshops, they cried, <laughs> like they literally cried. Um, it's just such a relief not to have to do so much work when you have a lot of detail in places. Okay, so I'm gonna get up there. Um, Tiffany asked if you can use chalk paint on fabric. I don't know the answer to that. I'm not a big chalk paint person, but I think chalk paint is acrylic, and so I would think yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know for certain. Over here. Elizabeth asked how long you should wait before washing the item. Um, I would wait until it's dry and then I would um, iron it and then um, you're good. Sorry, my typing is loud. I just heard it. It's very quiet in here today. We call we her Thunder Typer. I am such a fast typer. Um, it, we, Patty, so you guys might have noticed when Patty is into it, her talking. <laughs> she is really into this project. Just the truth is coming out here. Yeah. As soon as I start focusing, you know. So um, one thing that I want to share is I'm going to do. Let's go ahead now that I've got a base of my um, my paint on. I think I'm going to go ahead and swirl because it's the paint will be the thing I'm swirling on, not the fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, swirl good. these letters. Mary asked, what is the best fabric for a beginner? That's a good question. Um, flat. <laughs> <laughs> flat fabric. Definitely definitely recommend. This bunchy um, denim apron would not be my first yeah. choice. Well, and, and we had someone ask about painting on a pillow. Everything that we do pillow-wise, we do pillow covers yeah. so that they can be flat and then you can put the pillow Yeah, if it. I was going to paint on something that was pre-stuffed, I have a red and white striped um, pillow in the other room that I'm dying to put. It's like a red and white ticking. And I would, I would use a seam ripper and take out one of the sides mm -hmm. and I would take the stuffing out of it and I would probably put a down stuffing in it. I love the down pillows. They're my favorite. But, um, and then I put a board inside the pillowcase. Um, you know, any of the painted boards that you have, you can use the back side of that cardboard. Be careful with cardboard though, because the ridges in it, um, it will grab the ridges and it will transfer it to your painting, just like the little ridges in my um, denim fabric. It's, um, that, that's gonna always be there. So if you have something under that's gonna give it a pattern, be intentional about that so that you're not accidentally having a cardboard look. You know, um, what am I looking for? Can't remember. Okay, so we're going to go into a darker color and we'll do a little fade, a little ombre on the bottom of this guy. This word. 
So that fade is being possible by just not covering up each color. Ooh, and you guys who have been following this, um, the roller from the last um, five weeks. <laughs> yeah. It's been five weeks we've since been we talking started, about we did, this we've dumb been roller. Since we started this new format. We had this like accidental thing where, let's make his little nose pink. Um, we had a roller that we had loaded with varnish and I put it in a bag to, um, to dry or to um, keep from drying and came back, went out of town for a little camping trip, came back and all the things were still laying in the same place that I'd left them. And um, the roller was still good. So the next week we varnished with it. We did a thing. The next week we did it again. It's been going on for four weeks. Last week I decided it was finally getting to the end. And then this week I'm gonna show you what the condition of the roller yes. is after all of that. Yes. So. Um, Elizabeth wants to know, do you cover or iron directly onto the painted project? Do you cover it with anything? I would cover it with a, um, like a napkin, a cloth napkin, or, um, you know, a, a thin, a thin surface, a thin piece of fabric, something like that. Good question. There's really good questions. The questions I think are my favorite part because it's just, you don't, you can't always think of everything to tell, you know? We've had a couple people ask about ordering custom stencils. So mm -hmm. we currently- And they're not custom. We do yes. personalized, not mm -hmm. custom. Right, so we aren't mm -hmm. currently doing custom stencils. Yeah. However, if you have recommendations, please always send them our way. And it's something yeah. that we can put into our pool of ideas. Yeah. And then there's always the potential that it could be picked up. Yeah, and then somebody had said that um, they wanted like, um, a cow print pattern and um, like so like the cow hide you know mm -hmm. pattern never even occurred to me to have that and right. it was like such valid stuff but when we do if you do custom stencils what happens is is you have like if it's like um, you know the only plants in the world love the moon like say yeah. some random random saying we'll never be able to sell that to another person because mm -hmm. it won't mean anything to them um, it would take a whole designer, a week of designing. It, it would just be a big, like, work problem. So that's why we don't do custom. Um, personalized is easy. Custom is not so easy. Correct. All right, I'm going to do a little reveal on this. I'm not going to take this all the way across the finish line because I think it's a little boring. So I'm going to remove some tape. Do we have some more questions? We're probably getting to the end um, here, so make sure. You, yeah, uh, Kat just asked, can you use stencils on glass bottles? You can, and we're going to do that in a future episode. Yeah. Um, glass that's bent and bold um, is difficult, um, but on a flat-sided jar or something like that, that has a, not a taper, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Okay, we're gonna get in here, we're gonna lift this up and see what we think. Um, you ready, Rusty? Get him there. Ta-da! Oh, that is so cute. How cute is that? That looks adorable. Look at that fade, really did a good job. If I was doing this, um, let's drop that right back down. Notice that I taped it at the top. Now I'm gonna have to get everybody positioned again. Hey, Rusty, I just wanna say you did a great job on getting that reveal. That looks super good on this computer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if I wanted to add the glitter on top, let's get that shooken up. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Then, um, and let's talk about errors and what you could do about that. Um, I think that's valuable. If I wanted to add a little glitter onto there, I could just pick that up, wipe it off, and I could, okay, we're not lined up. Get in there. I could make our little pink nose. Oh, that's got good glitter in it. Is it cute? I it's, can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's super, super sparkly. It's like actual glitter pieces. And this one is, um, it just says glitters. It looks like it's sheer, so I'm trusting that it's sheer. Okay, so there's that. Now pretend as if, oh, that little nose. Look at, can you see it from there? Yes, that is so cute, That's guys. Super cute. I would probably sparkle everything that was pink on this project. I wish that, I wish that you guys could see, because we do, we it's do like glitter on We wish we had smell-o-vision, you know? Well, yes, but <laughs> even on, even on these that yeah. we've done, like, it just doesn't, 
the camera does not do it justice. Yeah. They are yeah. so pretty and so glittery and shiny and yeah. It, it makes a, it elevates everything up yeah. to this higher place. Okay, so let's pretend like one of my whiskers is an error. Okay, let's get that part done. I'm gonna choose, I've just got regular because I had to throw away my blues and stuff. I've got colors that are close to what I'm painting on. Number one, I would take a good firm dome and I would see if I went back in there, could I erase it? And it's kind of erasing it a little bit. Now you're gonna change your fabric and you might smear. So this would not be my favorite way to fix a mistake. Um, would you do steam or dry iron? Um, I think either. Okay, be fine. and what about parchment paper? Um, yeah, parchment would work. That's a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna mix a color that's close to my color of my project, which is this dark denim. And then what I would do is I would mix, I've got my round brush out just for some precision. I would mix a color that I thought was close, and then I would just kind of dab it on there. I'm gonna make that little guy disappear. Okay, and then I could adjust my color if I don't get it close enough. It's more black than blue. So you can see we're erasing with a color that's close. What I would challenge you to do, I know that so many artists are very perfectionist, if you gave this as a present to somebody and you had a mistake that you covered over and then you redid the whisker in its appropriate position, I would say that the person receiving it would not be able to tell no. as long as you don't tell. Mm -hmm. As soon as you tell, then they're going to know and it's going <laughs> to, you know. Zzz. Yeah, and so if you don't point out the, the imperfection, then nobody will see it. Right. And um, yeah, so I think that if you're just cognizant of that. And then also one other thing I wanna talk about with the fabric, freehanding, like trying to like write on this, stenciling oh, is almost yeah. the only way yeah. to do this. It's that almost the only so way. Much. Yeah, so that's how you fix the glitter. It's so cute. So cute. Okay, I do have one more giveaway to give. And Yay. so we had someone who said they just subscribed to our YouTube channel. They'll be up all night watching. Her name, <laughs> is, her name is Carrie Anderson, which used to be my name. So Carrie That's Anderson fun. is going to get our last truck stencil. So Carrie, I will message you. Carrie, you're going to love it. Uh, you guys, honestly, the YouTube channel, if you are into painting and you are into DIY, you need to subscribe because we have got it in spades. We yes. just care so much and we cover so many different kinds of things to do it's and, just you know cool. we've had messages even recently mm -hmm. we get them all the time that people are like we can't believe that you give away so mm -hmm. much for free yeah like, yeah we just want i mean we just want you to know what we know like sharing is caring <laughs> we we're we're just digging out of patty's brain and getting all of her that's why we love these videos these tutorials on mm. Tuesday have yeah. been really reminding yeah. us what we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, giving you what you want to know, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah, and I love the questions, and the questions yes. are fabulous. So, um, I think that that is it. Are we all done um, with our prizes? And yes, then we're don't all done with our prizes. Like, we share, have, and comment. Like, share, and comment. Until tomorrow for the grand prize. Roller. Yeah, we, we talk. Oh, roller. Oh, roller. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every I, time. I was just looking at it. I had it on my notebook. Roller. Okay. So, we have the roller. Uh, number one, when you clean or when you store your roller in a plastic baggie, take the handle off because these can rust and then they they glom and they don't roll anymore and it's yucky and then you have to spend more money. So, dun dun dun, dun 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 dun. Okay, so last week I base coated with my, my roller on the live and then I went and washed it out. And then what we have here is I have just a little bit of crunchy right there on the edge, but everything else is nice and squishy. So that was a five week long win. I love the idea of not having to work so hard to clean this out. Um, I love that I have my varnish roller already ready. Um, I like base coating with rollers a lot, but I hate washing all the paint. And if you wash that paint out, that's so much waste yeah. if you do it every week. Like if you can just keep that wet paint stored up in your yeah. roller and then just reload a little bit, then you have it wet to be able to reuse. It's ama amazing and magic. So. Magic. Success. Success. Yay. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Cheers.
Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. See you next week. Have a great week.